moment Meghan makes her Hollywood comeback in a big way as she mingles with the Kardashians, Katy Perry and Lizzo in the VIP room at Beyoncé's concert, with Harry carrying on his own LA romance with Rob McKelleny. Welcome to Royal Expert if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any news about the British royal family. Meghan Markle joined Katy Perry, the Kardashians, Lizzo, Chris Rock, Adele, Bieber's and a host of other stars at Beyoncé's 42nd birthday bash last night, the Mail Online can reveal today. The Duchess of Sussex stuck close to Tyler Perry, the godfather to billionaire Lilibet, as she posed for photos at the VIP Champagne Bar at SoFi Stadium. Footage on social media showed Meghan laughing with Destiny's child singer Kelly Rowland and actress Kerry Washington as Hollywood stars including Kris Jenner, Kim Kardashian, Jeff Butzos and other big names competed in one of the biggest celebrity gatherings of 2023. Meghan is rumored to be on the verge of a massive commercial relaunch of her blog tick to rival Gwyneth Paltrow's $250 million brand Goop. A return to Instagram is also said to be on the cards, with experts predicting she could earn $1 million or more per sponsored post. It came after Prince Harry mingled with the stars at the Los Angeles game on Sunday night, where he appeared to have developed a romance with Rob McElhenney and Will Ferrell. During the match with Inter Miami, Harry sat next to his Hollywood capitalist friend Adam Lilling, who is believed to be helping the Sussexes make a major rebrand after success with Matthew McConaughey and Nicole Kidman. Last night, Meghan was in attendance at SoFi Stadium for the third of Beyoncé's three dates on her Renaissance World Tour. She was also at the first party last Friday with Prince Harry, who was photographed looking bored while his wife and mother-in-law danced. The Sussexes were regulars at celebrity-packed events in California last week, after months of largely keeping a low profile. Harry heads to Europe this week to attend the Well Child Awards in London and then to the Invictus Games in Dusseldorf. Thanks for watching till the end.